Today we're gonna to be talking about the pins, the block that they're in, and the strings attached to them. So today we're going deep down in a dive of pins. No, not these pins uh, that we write with. We're gonna be going down the road of the pin and the pin block. A pin is a really old idea. We've had pins on stringed instruments since pretty much string instruments were invented. Uh, if you look at any of the orchestral string instruments, all of them have pins. Those pins are what you use in order to adjust the tension of the string. And so all of the strings in a piano are made of steel. The least amount of tension on a steel cable is still around 75 pounds. When you're thinking about the amount of hertz that that gives off, that is A0. And then when you look at the hertz level on high C, C8, and you look at how many times that beats a second, and you think about how hard you have to pull that string in order to reach and achieve that pitch, holy cow. We gotta use that same size of steel cable because the pins all need to be the same. If you started using thicker strings in order to get those lower frequencies, the pin would have to change, the pin block would all of a sudden have to change, it would make it a booger trying to build this thing. And so we use the same diameter of cable throughout the entire piano, we just then wrap it with copper. That copper is actually what is slowing it down. That is essentially all that the strings are, and the strings are then wrapped around pins and into pin blocks, and that is what is going to give you the correct tuning if it is holding the pin and if you have a great technician. In a car, your transmission is so important for you speeding up and having that be consistent. If you have a worn out gearbox, gears will slip and you will lose control of the automobile. And this is actually a lot like a transmission in that this will wear out. The pin block is what is actually gripping what you will tune your instrument with. And many pianos that we think are not pretty oftentimes are just out of tune. And, and this is literally the block of wood that is 100% doing the work of tuning your instrument and keeping it in tune. Pin blocks are 99% of the time made out of hard rock maple. In higher quality pianos, you will have thicker layers of wood and there will be fewer of them. It's going to be something that can have a lot longer lifespan than other pin blocks and so, thicker pieces of wood. And here is a lower quality, or we would say a cost saving pin block. More inexpensive cuts of wood and layering those together and using extremely strong glues to create the pin block. Now, at the beginning, that's gonna be fine. It's gonna do great for a while. Thinking about that really matters because if it doesn't last, if it can't hold its tune, what good is that to you? Not much. The pin is the most important point because we can adjust the tension of the string that's connected to it. Our trained technicians go out daily to inspect the torque of a pin block. We want to know how firm it is gripping or how loose it is gripping your pin because what that's gonna mean to you later, tuning bills and tunings you can't get out of. If a violinist or a guitarist or a cellist or any other strings player is gonna be tuning their instrument in between performances, in between each song sometimes, and we think about not tuning these pianos that are actually holding the most amount of force of any string instrument ever built. Getting this wrong could cost you big bucks and Amro Music carries brands that has been building pin blocks that grip pins for hundreds of years. Remember, you can get your technician here at Amro Music. We have a list of certified technicians that's been working for us and working in the industry for collectively hundreds of years. And let me know what else you want to learn about this fantastic instrument, the modern piano forte. Like and subscribe to our channel. It helps us track 
who is interested in this kind of content and what direction we should take it. And then more importantly, hit the bell so that you know the next time that we post one of those up, giving us a call or looking on our website is a really great start to finding your direction of musical enjoyment. They do really, really well. Whoops. If you throw them on the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>